Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday and I love unboxing and styling fashion with all of you. And I say that today because I am doing this video in collaboration with three other YouTube queens, Remaking Missy, Chucks and Chapstick, and Mature Sass. We decided we wanted to give you guys some inspiration for the St. Patrick's Day so you wouldn't be left feeling green. All right, you guys, if you wanna see some great ways to style up this kind of hard to wear color, stay tuned. So the first two outfits you're going to see are inspired by this photograph, but no matter how you slice it, green is a really hard color for me to wear. So not only do I have some outfits to show you, but also some tips on wearing this tricky color. Okay. So if you've ever wondered if you lean a little towards the cooler end or you lean a little towards the warmer end, all you need to do is take two shades of the same color and like hold them up to your face. So for instance, like a very light pastel pink with like a brighter, warmer, um, rosy pink. Hold them up to your skin and kind of see which one lights you up. And that will kind of help you to decide whether you're more cool toned or more warm toned. If you're cool toned, green can be a really hard color to wear because it just runs cool. It's just on the cooler end of the spectrum. But much like blue, if you can find the right tones of it, then it can work for you. So the first outfit that I'm gonna share with you guys, um, I actually rented from Rent the Runway. So it's this beautiful uh, emerald green top, and then I'll show you guys a picture of it so you can see. Now I run warm, so I look really great in bright yellows, hot pinks, and then really great, fun, bright, vibrant colors like this jade green. So this was why this outfit really worked for me. I love this top, even the tie front. I just did one quick little knot on it so it hung like a tie as opposed to doing like a full bow because bows sometimes can really overwhelm my face. So I just went for this kind of necktie look and I thought it was kind of like uh, elegant casual when I put it together with my white distressed denim and a good pair of high heels. Dark jade greens like the shirt that I'm wearing and this one I'm holding my hand can be a little bit difficult to wear if you tend to be a little more caramel toned like I am. But you can warm them up by adding accessories close to your face that have the warmer tones that you really look good in. So like maybe putting a hot pink necklace close to your face um, or even adding in a really great gold tone. Um, I look really great in gold. I tend to lean towards gold over silver. Again, silver tends to be a little more cool toned, whereas gold is definitely more warm toned and a lot more flattering on me. So I tend to wear a lot more gold jewelry. So if you pair up a dark green like this with a, with a beautiful like leopard print that has a gold undertone to it, the two together just kind of like play off of each other and can really warm up your skin tone. So here's the outfit that I came up with um, as my second outfit. As you can see, I put on a leopard headband and it has those beautiful gold tones to it, again, close to my face to help warm up my skin tone and to help um, counteract the kind of darkness in this green. I actually really love this top. I picked it up recently from Amazon and I just love the kind of raised uh, polka dots on them, but I do sometimes find like it washes me out a little bit, especially in pictures, just holding it up to me right now in the camera, I can see how it's kind of making me look a little, little sallow, but when I paired it up with a nice warm colored leopard print, I thought it was really great. I also switched the white jeans for an ivory jean. So if you've ever put on a white t-shirt and wondered why you look a little off, it could be because of the coloring of the t-shirt. White is a really tough color to wear if I'm being honest. So um, a lot of brides want to wear white and I will tell them as a bridal consultant, Let's move over to a beautiful light ivory, just because that just little bit of a tone switch 
can really light up skin. Um, white can be a little hard if you're really dark. It can make you um, look almost fluorescent. And if you're really pale, it can just make you look washed out and almost like disappear. But a nice ivory looks great on most skin tones. And so I went ahead and changed the white pant since I was going with this um, kind of cooler tone green to an ivory pant instead. And the whole outfit just kind of brightened up. The last outfit I put together was just kind of a fun one. I love all of the monochrome outfits that we're seeing this season, but like I said, green is just so tough for me. So I went with um, a top that broke up some of that green with a color that works for me, which is a beautiful white. Um, so this white and green stripe makes it just not so much near my face and it really just brightens up my whole complexion. Um, and then instead of doing the white pants at the bottom, I brought that darker color to the bottom part of my frame. So not so close to my face. Um, so I still got to enjoy the beautiful kind of um, bluish green that this is. I guess it's kind of maybe like a turquoise green. Um, I still got to enjoy this beautiful jewel tone. This is one of my favorite pair of pants um, and then put it together with this other shade of green and it just gives this slightly monochromatic effect, effect but without washing me out and so I really just love this outfit and then I paired it with a just a pair of fun um, Sam Edelman slides that I've had in my closet for quite some time and uh, yeah I really love this outfit. So that's all the outfit inspiration I have for you today. But I just wanted to let you know that if there's a color that you really love, but just kind of doesn't work with your skin tone, do not give up hope. There's always some way to incorporate it into your wardrobe in a way that you'll love. Maybe it's in an accessory like an earring or a necklace. Maybe it's a handbag. Maybe it's a scarf. The key really is to get that color that kind of washes you out away from your face, closer to the bottom of your frame, and then incorporate it in other ways into your outfit. I hope this helps in some way. Um, I love doing styling tips with you. Let me know which outfit was your favorite, which green you think flatters me best uh, in outfit number one, outfit number two, or outfit number three. And then when you're finished with this video, be sure to go check out the other ladies who are involved in this collaboration. They've got some really great outfit inspiration that I know you're going to love. All right, you guys, until the next video, you know what to do. Live with love. Bye.